everyone. This is a tutorial of a look that was requested by Virgo Woman 3, uh, one of my subscribers, and she wanted to see a look that was all pink. So pink eyes, pink cheeks, pink lips. And of course I had to wear a pink to uh, go along with the whole theme. And I thought that this might actually be a good look for Valentine's Day, maybe not for, for dinner, um, but for like a Valentine's lunch or a day trip or something. Um, it's really fun and flirty and and all that good stuff. So Virgo Woman 3 said that she wanted to see a pink look that would make the boys wink. So I don't know if I've done that, but um, this is my version of an all pink look without going to, you know, crazy bright pink. It's still very soft and pretty and wearable. So um, keep watching if you'd like to see how I did this look. Okay, so I've already applied my face makeup, which for this look just I used um, concealer and a little bit of powder foundation. For looks that are trying to be kind of flirty and, you know, you're mostly doing them to get a guy's attention, I, I prefer not to cake makeup on, especially if someone's going to be getting close to you, then you don't want them to see like layers of foundation and powder because that's kind of gross um, in my mind. But, you know, if you're just like going out to the club, whatever, and you're not really anticipating you know, someone getting very close to you or if it's going to be dim lighting or anything, then pack it on. doesn't really matter. Um, but for this look, like I said, just wanted to keep the face pretty natural, with the exception, of course, of the um, pink cheeks that are very, very pink and very unnatural, but um, very flirty as well. So, so the first thing I did for the eye makeup is prep the lid with a eye eyeshadow eyelid primer. Um, I use the one from Elf, their mineral primer, but you can use Too Faced, um, Urban Decay, Benefit, whatever you prefer. And I've done my brows after just because I think that um, sometimes when I do my brows first and then I put the primer on, it can kind of mess them up. And um, you guys can please be nice with my brows and don't make any comments about how hideous they look. I'm growing them out so I can um, get them threaded. So, after you've applied your primer, um, the first thing I'm going to do is take a flesh-toned shadow that's not completely matte, it's got a little bit of shine to it. And this is from the Wet n Wild Sandcastle palette. And this is just going to act as the highlight shade. But I've been putting my highlight on first in a lot of my looks. And just when I do my makeup, I don't know, it feels like um, you don't have to go back and blend as much if you put the highlight on first. So this is just very natural, um, basically your skin tone. Or my skin tone. <laughs> just a shade that pretty much matches your eyelid skin. Um, but then has just a tiny bit of shimmer to it as well. Okay, next I'm going to be taking a MAC 217 brush and putting that into the pink side of the Hip Rascal Eyeshadow Duo. And I'm going to pack the color on there because this color isn't um, extremely pigmented. If you have a pink that's similar to this shade um, that has more pigment, definitely use that because this stuff you kind of have to use a lot of it. So this is just going to go in the crease all the way in and all the way back out. And I am going to try to pack on that color so it gives a nice, um, nice wash of pink. And when I'm using this brush to apply crease color, I always turn it sideways like that. Um, just so the color will go a little bit above the crease and a little bit below the crease. So this isn't um, a precise application method by any means, but the color is so light and it blends really really well I and mean, you basically don't have to do any other blending with another brush so that's just what I use. Next I'm going to be taking La Renime's Loose Blush and this one's called Radiant Glow so this is just between a very soft pink it's got a tiny bit of almost a lavender cast to it and just has a, um, some silver shimmer so I actually just put that on my finger and tap off my finger in the lid and I pat this on just from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner and I go just up to the sorry and I go just up to the crease not above the crease because I want to keep that intensity um, of the pink shadow and after you clean off your 217 you can definitely go back and just blend that pink in the highlight shade just a little bit if you think that it needs it but usually it doesn't this looks pretty um 
pretty self-sufficient because all the colors are so light and they blend so well together just when you apply them you don't have to go back and do a lot of heavy blending um, because there's not any harsh lines the liner that I'm going to be using is my new favorite liquid eyeliner and that's the Lorac front of the line liquid eyelining pen in black and I'm just going to do a pretty um, pretty close line nothing too dramatic but I am going to wing it out at the end but yeah something like that the mascara I'm using today is L'Oreal's Collagen Mascara, which I have to say I'm kind of upset with right now because I've only been using it for about a month and it's already starting to um, flake off even when I apply it. I'm getting little black flakes on my cheeks, but I still like the formula on the eyes. It's not clumping or anything yet. I'm also going to take a liquid shadow and this is Victoria's Secret. Dazzling Liquid Eyeshadow in Wanting, which is a discontinued product, but it's just a really um, frosty, light pink. And I'm going to put this in the inner corner. Just, you know, maybe a fifth of the way. And then dot that up into the um, tear duct area as well. And then for that extra little um, boost of being alert and awake, I'm going to take the white shade from the Wet n Wild Sandcastle palette and dip my highlighting brush in that, um, tap off the excess, and I'm just going to put this right in the tear duct. Um, not really blending a whole lot, but I just want a nice um, pop of white right there. And just blend it very, very slightly with the uh, lighter pink shade. The blush that I'm using today is called Joy, and it is an e.l.f. mineral product, e.l.f. mineral blush. And just using a MAC 116 brush, I just kind of dip the product in the lid and just swirl it kind of everywhere. Um, like I said before, when I'm doing a, a flirty look, I kind of go crazy with the blush. Um, never really a bright color, just a really soft, pretty color. Kind of like you're, you're blushing or you're, you're flushed. I don't know why this side looks darker. I think it's just my lighting, sorry. But they're the same. And I'm also going to take some of Stila's Illuminating um, Pressed Powder in Gold. And again, with the 116 brush, I'm going to apply that just to the tops of my cheekbones. Just gives you a kind of um, lit from within glow. And I, don't, I never, not never, but for this look, I wouldn't apply this all over the face because then it just looks kind of unnatural if you're just like shiny all over. And the lip gloss I'm going to be using because this is an all pink look is Stila's It Gloss and in Enticing which is a a sheer mid-tone pink with a lot of shimmer in it. Alright everyone so this is the finished look. Very soft and flirty and pink. Definitely very very pink. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Take care. Bye.